All right, hey guys, welcome to another video here. So this video is to uh, follow up with some issues that the previous um, tutorial video had. It had issues primarily with the health regeneration aspect of it. There were some other problems I'm trying to uh, address, at least try to research a little bit more. Uh, but I did figure out the health issue. Um, basically, the main problem was with um, how we got the health and how we, you know, healed the player if they did successfully, you know, assassinate the enemy. Basically, when the player assassinated the guy, um, whatever damage they were supposed to take from the fall, uh, what we did was um, we compared whether or not, you know, at that point when they killed the enemy, uh, we checked to see what their health was at. And if it was lower than 100, which most of the time it would be, um, we would heal them by 100 you know, health points and then loop that back in and then check if that is greater than 100 and if it is we set it to 100 which you know definitely didn't make too much sense um, but the way I'm going to do it now makes way more sense um, there is issues whenever you, like you can't just set an integer variable at the end it won't change anything you still gotta heal the player um, so I'll show you what we did instead let's open up Kismet here um, so before we get into the meat of everything, uh, basically the, we added a couple of variables. There's one, two, three, and four different ones. Um, we get the current player health. Um, we have the added health, which is a float instead of an integer, like the current player health. And then we have the player health as a float, and then we have the current player health as a float. And the reason why we have integers and floats is because we need to because uh, the actual health property for the player is an integer, um, but in order to heal uh, the player, uh, we need a float. Now, modify health only takes floats, it doesn't take any integers, so that's why we have to make those changes like that and have kind of redundant variables. But overall, uh, what we go ahead and do is whenever that trigger volume is touched, we actually don't need to play that announcement anymore. Basically, whenever that trigger volume is touched, we get the player's current health and we put it into that integer. Uh, which is current player health, and then we also cast that float into a current player health float. And then basically at this point, you know, we're killing the enemy, um, and this is where we're going ahead and uh, getting the property again to heal the player. Um, so basically we get that property again, uh, we put it in a new variable, the player health, we cast that player health into a float called player health float, and it's at this point we go ahead and do a subtraction. So we basically take the current player's health, the one we got as soon as they touch the volume, and we subtract um, from that the player's uh, more the more current health when they actually take the damage. So say when we start at top, we have like 80 damage. That's gonna be the current player health. And when we fall, you know, say we get the we get the assassination, uh, we would normally take like 20 damage. Um, so at that point, if we started at 80 and we're and we take 20, we would be at 60. So the current player health flow would be 80. Uh, the player health flow would be 20 uh, 60. And basically, we subtract those two together, put the added health, because that difference is what the what we're going to heal back to the player. So the added health with that example would be 20. And then basically, we modify the health and just put the added health as the amount here. We don't make any changes in here. We leave it at zero, and we just plug in that added health variable. So let's go ahead and just double check to make sure that's working here. Let's go ahead and just take some damage first. So we're at 81. And if we successfully assassinate this guy, we should have 81 damage still. And we do, which is perfect. Um, so let's also make sure that it's working in a normal sense when we're at 100%. I feel bad for this guy. <laughs> we keep killing him. And we still see it's, it's working still. So I think that's a way better way of doing it. Um, just because um, the other way was kind of confusing. There was a lot of loops, things that were unnecessary at that point. Um, so let me know what you think about this new system. See if it you know, makes any more sense. Uh, see if it, if you like it better. Uh, definitely comment. Um, you know, share your thoughts. Uh, like the video if you actually like the change. Uh, if you think it makes sense. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit subscribe for me. Definitely helps me out. Um, we're slowly getting bigger and bigger at uh, almost 440 subscribers. Um, so let's try to make that 500, maybe even 600, who knows. Um, but I'm so glad you guys are watching these videos. I hope you do enjoy them and you'll learn a lot. So I'll see you next time. Bye.